Listen, if you want to see the full version of this interview without waiting until part 75, <laughs> hit the join button right next to the subscribe button and become a VIP member for just $2.99 a month. While you're at it, turn the red subscribe button gray and hit the notification bell. All right, now VIPs, enjoy the clip. <laughs> Six row, you tapped in with P Films. What's the word, man? What's the word, P Films? Chilling, chilling, everything Gucci. I know we've been trying to line this up for a minute. Most um, definitely, most definitely, you know that. Word, word. So, I want to start this off by saying, you know, thank you for coming on my platform and giving me an opportunity to help tell your story, all right? You know that, bro. Right, so, and I want to give my space back to you, too. Word, no doubt. For looking, for looking. Yeah. You know, here on P Films, you know, we I try to help the views, get to know six row rapper, but also six row person. So, there might be personal questions. But it's only, you know, to let the people that love you and what you do get a better understanding of who you are, all right? Most definitely. Yeah, so, I know you, you you was born in Brooklyn, right? Definitely. Born and raised, right? Yeah, best out of Brooklyn to be exact. And I was going to ask that with part one. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many people, you know, that'll be watching this. You know, they might not be familiar with the area, but for someone that's out of town that really doesn't know the area, you know, what is it like when you was, what was it like when you was growing up out here? What was it like growing up in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn, to be exact? Yeah. Shit. You know, I, for me, for me as a kid, for me, I jumped off the porch early, so I was always outside and shit. So for me, it was always lit. Like wherever I was at, it was lit. You know I me? Mean? Yeah. I was always running around with with people around my age. For me, either my cousins, my friends. You feel me? Yeah. It was just making shit happen. You feel know I me? Mean? I was always out after curfew, <laughs> shit like that. You feel know I me? Mean? I, like if it when it came to school, I ain't gonna front. Like for me, I was I was on my school shit. I used to get in trouble here, there, here, there, and shit. But for the most part, though, growing up as a kid out here is, is regular and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you out here, you basically don't you don't you don't bite off more than you can eat type shit. So, okay. could you speak on? I know you say um you you jumped off the porch early and yeah. you was you was outside. Do you I'm speak rich. on a couple of things that you seen with your own eyes or stories that you heard while being raised out here? A couple of things I seen with my own eyes. Yeah, your stories that you heard. I didn't see I didn't see a lot. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna hold you because me like I was into a lot of shit for me as a young kid growing up. For me, I was really hustling. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I was really finessing niggas. I was hustling niggas. Feel me? So yeah. I seen a lot, bro. I ain't gonna hold you like. Even even after school and shit, like for me, it's always it was always on some some gang shit and shit after school. For me, I didn't see niggas get beat up. Yeah. For me, I didn't see niggas. I didn't see niggas run on their mans. For me, Dang. I didn't see a whole lot of shit. Like shit, just crazy, bro. Get yeah. shot at all type of shit. I didn't see niggas get shot at. I didn't see I didn't see niggas get grazed. Yeah. All types of shit, bro. I didn't see all types of crazy fights. Just mad shit. Yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, growing up out there, you know, I understand. I know, aside from seeing all these shit, all these things, jumping off the porch and seeing all these things in the streets, I was watching one of your interviews and you were saying that you was into skateboarding and chess yeah. and all that. Oh, yeah. Well, so that was like, that was like my home. That was my elementary era. Yeah. What was it about those right. things that, 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 um, sparked, in, that you sparked interest in? Like chess? I ain't gonna front of me. I've always been a person that I always try to think about the next best move, you feel me? And wow. I thought you were gonna say you learned it in jail. Every nigga nah. learned chess in jail. <laughs> nah, no funny shit, bro. Respect <laughs> me. Respect me. I never that's another thing too. I never been to jail too. Like, okay, okay. I done been to jail but like 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 for a week. I never like that yeah, like, sentence. Like, yeah, type shit for me. Gotcha. But basically though, like I always I always looked at chess for me, because I seen it. When the, the definition of chess is that you think about your next move, yeah. you do it, and the next move you do got to be the best move and shit like that. Yeah. So for me, with yeah. that being with that being with chess, I just like incorporated that, see that. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you when when you if if somebody that didn't like what what are, what are a few words you would um use to explain best style? Best style? Yeah, just a few so, words. Active, uh -huh. creative, mm -hmm. vibey. Yeah. Like for, for people that don't know what vibey means, OD vibrant. You feel me? Okay. Best style, super vibrant, and it's like, like it's like it's like no other hood like best style. You feel me? Cause like yeah. one thing is like most most of the legends like in rap and shit, they didn't they've been birthed from from the Bedford Stuyvesant area and shit. Yeah. You feel me? 
and it's like best eyes lit. It's not like it's not like Brownsville. It's not like Crown Heights. It like it got its own vibe to it. Yeah. And a lot of shit going in the style. Like, for me, it's a lot of different blocks. And then in that style, be a lot of niggas that know each other too. So mm-hmm. it'd be a lot of niggas that know each other. So. The whole world want to be like the best style. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> best style being some, <laughs> Low key. I ain't gonna hold you. Best style being some United shit. I ain't mm-hmm. on front because you will know a nigga from this part of the style and he'll be linked up with niggas from the other parts mm-hmm. of the style and then it'll all come together. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. One type shit. Yeah, yeah.